Has anything strange paranormal scary happened to you and no matter how hard you think about it rationally, you cannot explain what happened? When I was 13 my uncle went out of town and asked me to stay at his place to keep an eye on it. I invited my buddy to come spend the weekend with me so I wasn't alone. We were hanging out in the attached garage watching TV around 1am when I realized I forgot to turn off the pool pump. When we opened the garage door to the backyard we were flooded with this overwhelming smell of burning meat. Right when I smelt it I was overcome with a feeling of dread and my gut told me not to go outside so we immediately closed the door. As we closed the garage door my uncle's dog starting barking and growling at the other door which was open and leads into the house. She was barking growling into the darkness of the hallway. As we slammed that door shut the electric dartboard went haywire. It was making all sorts of crazy noises and flashing all of the lights like the entire thing was short circuiting. Then out of nowhere everything just stopped. The feeling of dread went away. The dog stopped barking at the door and the dartboard shut off. But we did not sleep at all that night and thankfully my uncle came home the next day. I'm not really sure how to rationalize all three of those things happening at the same time. Well that's horrifying. A few days before Princess Diana died, I had a dream my grandmother came into my bedroom to tell me Princess Diana died. Probably just a bizarre coincidence, because Diana was all over the tabloids, so maybe she was just in my subconscious for that reason? Still kinda weirds me out, though. I remember my brother waking us up the morning saying she died. My mom says she had a dream about dying in a tunnel that night. When I was 12 I had just came home from school and as usual I was the only person in the house. Siblings at friends or after school programs. Parents at work. Anyways I walked into my kitchen to grab a snack and I immediately felt this weird sensation that I've never felt before. I got really sick to my stomach and made my way to the dining area and just collapsed onto a chair. I sat there with my head hanging down when it had just hit me how silent it was. I lifted my head and gazed the room for a bit. After about 20 seconds or so of just pure tense silence and nothingness I relaxed a bit when out of nowhere this loud noise came from directly beneath my chair. It literally sounded like if paper was being crumbled. I leapt out my chair and as soon as I did I just hear what sounded like a little girl giggle followed by these soft but loud footsteps running down the hallway away from the kitchen towards the front of the house. I slowly backed into the wall behind me without taking my eyes off the door leading to the hallway and then proceeded to make my way to the back door. Once I reached it I bolted out of there and ran to my friend's house which was only 3 houses down from me. I called my mom at work and she told me to just stay put. That is still the most unexplainable thing to ever happen to me. That sounds terrifying. I would have had a heart attack. I was driving along a very remote stretch of road. No houses or population 4 hours in any direction. Wasn't paying much attention as I wasn't expecting any living soul in the area. However I ended up passing a woman wearing some kind of white robe. As I passed her, I noticed she was waving her hand as if she was asking to hitch a ride. Half-heartedly I went back. I could still see her in my rear view. I usually don't offer to hitch hikers ride as I'm advised against it by my parents. However I'd feel really bad to let someone be out there that late, but once I reversed back to her, she was nowhere to be found. I could swear I had her in my rear view mirror the whole time, but there was no trace of her in the end. If this were a movie, a few seconds after you try to look for her would be a violent jump scare where she would be on top of the hood screeching as blood soaked spider appendages burst out of her chest. This is super mundane but it happened to me at work recently so might as well share. Went to use the woman's bathroom and when I went in all the stalls except two were full. There are like 8 stalls. I go in to pee for like 2 minutes and when I come out all the stalls were empty. I didn't hear any doors open, any toilets flush, any hands being washed, or anyone walking around. Also, a cup of coffee that had been on the sink counter when I walked in was still sitting there. So in conclusion, ghosts are nasty and don't wash their hands and one of them forgot their coffee. Thank you. This made me laugh. Probably not as extreme as some others here but when I was about 13 or 14 I was walking home from being out with a few friends. It was around 9pm in late autumn so it was pretty dark at this point. On my way back I had to walk down a road that was the only way to get into my estate so despite it being dark and it looking fairly sketchy I wasn't concerned having walked through there 100 times before then. 
When I was about halfway down I felt a hand grip my right shoulder. It didn't just feel like something touched me. It squeezed my shoulder with a good amount of force and the when I looked over my shoulder I was greeted by nothing but thin air. Safe to say I freaked out and proceed to run the rest of the way home. Upon a bit of paranoid research I found out somebody had killed themselves in a house on that road not too long before my passing by. I've always just hoped it was an overactive imagination or something but I've never fully convinced myself. It was a normal night. The family all had supper, watched a bit of TV and then headed for bed. It must have been an hour later when we all heard the tiles in the end suite bathroom start to crack. It was the scariest thing I have ever heard in my life and lasted a full 5 minutes. I called out to my parents and they told me to stay in bed. I'm not sure if they checked it out but when I went the next morning, all the tiles had pulled away from the wall but none of them had fallen off. I'm sure there is a logical explanation. At least I've hoped for one my entire life. For what happened but for 10 year old me, it was terrifying and spooky as heck. Maybe it was Fortunato from the cask of Amontillado. I was sitting in my classroom in grade school when all of a sudden I had this overwhelming sense of despair hit me out of nowhere. It was like that feeling when your heart drops to your feet but magnified tenfold. I turned to a girl next to me and told her I feel like something really bad just happened. I learned later that day my brother jumped off a 15 story building literally right before I told my classmate. She found out the next day why I wasn't in class and apparently had to be sent home. I actually talked to her somewhat recently and it still freaks her out. Holy crap. I heard someone singing directly under my bed. There was nothing under the bed that it could have been. Phone, iPod, radio, speaker or whatever it sounded like a woman literally just laying under my bed singing. I jumped off my bed and looked under and there was nothing. But for some reason the room felt so much darker under the bed. The singing stopped as soon as I jumped off I haven't heard it since. On my teen days I was online dating someone from another country. I know, lame. I was deep in love at the time and she said she was going to see a friend. I didn't have anything to do so I went to bed. I started to sleep awake, idk if it's the right word for it. And at first I started to listen to voices and I couldn't figure out what they were saying. Then I saw 5 or 6 people laughing and drinking in a living room. I woke up and wondered about it before sleep again. Next day she posts pictures and it was the exact place and people I saw, besides her. At boarding school I had this big, loud ass alarm clock, unmistakable. Well, one day I forgot to set it or something I wake up at 9, sun shining through my window, it's a new day, and I'm late to class. I rush to put on my uniform, brush out my hair, get my crap together, skip food or brushing my teeth. Get out the door. This whole time I'm praying for God to turn back the clock so I won't be late. Now, this dorm has alarmed doors. They turn on automatically from like 9pm to 6am. Anytime the door opens between these times, the fire bells go off. As I'm running down 3 flights of steps it's getting dim outside. I dash out onto quad into the grey misty morning. The sun hasn't risen but still illuminates the sky. A single monk is walking by, and I ask him what time it is. The 5 o'clock bell just rang. He tells me. I realize I don't know him it's a small school. Most everybody knows everybody. I thank him, confused, and head back to my room. By some miracle, the alarms don't go off. I go back to my room and browse on my computer, mystified by my experience. No one believes me. Be careful for what you asked from God. Bought a foreclosed house. Downstairs doors were missing and covered with plywood. I move into house and a few weeks later plywood is gone and doors are perfectly hung. Benevolent tweaker perhaps? Months later the old propane tank I need to figure out how to dispose of disappears. I'm thinking handyman ghost? Honestly no idea. Mine was more of a collection of things, rather than one happening. The house I grew up in appeared to have something paranormal going on. It had your typical ghostly stuff. Doors opening by themselves. Sinks turning on. Footsteps up and down the hallway. Items would go missing and reappear. There were a few incidents that were really interesting. It was about midnight and I was sleeping. Suddenly my stereo, this is the 90s, turned on full blast. When I got up and shut it off I realized it wasn't plugged in. Was reading in bed facing the wall and suddenly my whole body slightly rolled. Like it would if someone sat next to you on box springs. 
Asked my sister what she wanted. No reply. Mom? No reply. By this point the hair on my neck was standing on end. I was only about 10 and way too scared to roll over and look. Ended up falling asleep with the light on facing the wall. The most interesting one was the time we all left the house and when we returned the kitchen chairs were all tilted backwards and balancing on their back legs. It was some straight up poltergeist crap. I ran to get my camera but it scared my mom so bad she immediately propped them back upright and refused to talk about it. Oh my goodness the last paragraph chilled me to my bones. Sounds like something straight out of a horror film. I'll always take the chance to retell this one. Me and my friends were fresh out of high school and we wanted to go on a camping trip. A couple of weeks before the trip I had a dream that I was driving down a hill towards a lake. Suddenly I came across a curve in the road that was obscured by the plant life. I was going too fast and ended up rolling down the hillside and landing in the lake, where me and one of my friends began to drown. At this point I wake up in a panic, and do my best to write it off as anxiety. Fast forward 2 weeks, me and a friend are driving to the campground and we turn into the campground and see the exact freaking road from my dream. Being reasonably freaked the frick out, I slow down and, sure enough, there's a sharp, hidden turn in the road I would have missed if I hadn't slowed down. Parallel universe you didn't fare quite so well, apparently. When I was in high school back in 2007, I was home alone and doing my homework online. But suddenly I felt someone standing behind me and blowing their breath on the back of my neck. When I turned back, nobody was behind me. You have been visited by the motorcyclist monkey. Comment monkey cycling so you never arrive late to somewhere. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check another video. Or don't. Either way, have a great day you magnificent people.